What's up guys? This is Kingdom7218 and uh oh wait wait what's this I hear? Some of you may get that, some of you may not, but anyway, as you may have uh, already guessed, I am going to be playing FTL. You can uh, buy FTL on Steam for six ninety nine. This is Steam, this is FTL. Faster than light it stands for, uh, it's currently priced at six ninety nine. Personally, I think it should have a better overall rating than 84, because if you haven't already heard of it, what is wrong with you? It came out two years ago, almost, wait, is it? Uh, no, year and a bit. Um, and oh my god, it's one of the most addictive games I've ever played. So anyway, this is Steam. You can buy it on Steam for six ninety nine, and I'm just going to close that and open the actual. So, this is FTL. Um, very addictive. I have already played it for sixteen hours, something like that, uh, over a course of two two days, something like that. So, uh, I do have a game currently on at the moment, but um, I'm only on Sector 1, I'll explain that in a bit. So, I'm just going to start a new game, confirm. Um, I'm going to have this ship, the Kestrel, but I'm going to rename it uh, HMS Gaff. Gaff Gaff, HMS Gaff Gaff, I think that's a pretty cool name. Um, I'm just going to leave my crew because if I name them, I am going to get very attached to them. And, um, you know, in FTL, well, FTL, it's a very unforgiving game. Very unforgiving game. Um, I'm going to put it on normal, uh, not easy. Because uh, I have completed it on easy before, but I've not completed it on normal before. Um, it is very unforgiving. Um, some parts of it can be very difficult, and you will, in this game, you will use the space bar more than, more than anything you have before. So um, basically, I'm going to explain it as we go along. Uh, to uh, speed things up, um, I, I'm not going to read out the little things that come up. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to read that, but you, you can do it if you want. You can pause it or something. But um, So, yeah, this is my ship. Um, as you can see here, pause, press spacebar to resume. Pretty straightforward. Um, this is your scrap up here. You can buy things with your scrap and uh, upgrade your ship. Except, um, this is your crew and the health and everything, your oxygen level there, your evade chance, so that's basically, um, if an enemy starts shooting at you, that's your percentage, um, chance for you to dodge the incoming fire, as it says there, I actually didn't realise that. These are your shields, at the moment we only have one shield, you can see it faintly on the outside. Um, this is how much fuel I have. And each jump here, this is sector one, civilian sector, so uh, no real big danger going on, uh, but still quite a few enemies about. Uh, so every time I jump to different places here, uh, it uses up one fuel. Um, these are how many missiles I have, and uh, these are how many drone parts I have. And uh, I don't have any of them on this ship, so they're pretty useless to me. I do have some missiles, and I can buy them or find them like on my way and things like that. Um, and yeah, this is my like how much, let's say, electricity is on my ship. Um, each little one bar takes up one electricity. Each bar of these is one electricity. So um, I'm gonna charge up all my weapons so this is a missile here uh, it ignores shields and this is a burst laser it fires out which is that one there it fires out three shots um, but it, it don't get through shields so that's its downfall really um, oh yeah positioning my crew I'm gonna send this guy to the weapons room so he will then 
speed up how fast my weapons will charge. When they go green, that means they're fully charged and they're ready to fire. And I'm going to send this guy to the shields. That, that basically means if one of my shield, if my shield goes down, he'll help recharge it quicker. So, and this guy is going to stay in the cockpit so he can actually pilot the plane because if I move him out, so if I move him to the... I can't jump and I have zero percent chance of evading it. Uh, I can put someone in my engines room, but I don't have a th fourth crew member. So, you know, you can buy them or pick them up along the way. So, uh, hopefully I will be able to get one. So let's jump. There's a distress call here, so I'm going to go over there. Hopefully, going to have to fight a few enemies, maybe. Um, da 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 da. Uh, it appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Ooh, your sectors are your sensors are picking up a signal, a single life form. Ooh, uh, go down to the surface to investigate. Ignore the signal. You know what? I'm gonna send one of my guys down. Um, see now, in FTL there are a lot of choices that you can do. This one has been repeated before, but I've had m mixed results with it. Sometimes. Um, I, I always click, um, oh, oh, okay, I'm going to bring him back to my ship, just ignore what I just said, I'm going to bring him back, uh, once back in orbit, the man turns increasingly violent, uh oh, he eventually turns on your crew, I managed to kill one of them before you can subduce him, <sighs> well, we're not off to a good start, so it looks like I've just lost my guy in the weapons bay. I'm going to send him into there because my shield's automatically recharged, but I want my weapons to charge as fast as possible. So we're not off to a great start. Like I said, this game is very unforgiving. We basically have to get here. Uh. So, what have we got here? Um, uh, after a short time, you receive a message. Hello, I hope this is not an... I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. This region is quite dangerous, and our ship is not well armed, uh, except to fuel decline. Um, I'm going to accept it, because sometimes they can either be a trap, or they can either give you a load of cool stuff, like a load of scrap, a couple of missiles, maybe even a new weapon. So I'm going to accept it. Uh, added quest marker to your map. So if I go on my map now, boom. The quest is there. And I am going to make my way over there because, um, you know, 50-50 chance whether something or something good or bad will happen. Um, under attack by space pirates. Aid the civilian ship. I am I'm going to evade the civilian ship. Um, so basically now I'm going to attack, attack this guy. So pause, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to set my burst laser. Oh, so I'll, I'll explain this first. So here he has an oxygen level, which is basically his life support systems. If they go down, um, his cr the oxygen will drop in his ship and everyone will basically starve of oxygen. Uh, there is shields, there is weapons, there is engine room, and, there is cock and that's his cockpit there. So he's only got one shield and they fire three, three, three bullets, basically. So I'm going to... I'm going to remove the energy from that because I don't really need it. And I'm going to give it to my engine room, which basically increases my evade chance. And I'm going to I'm going to auto fire so I can concentrate on other things. And I'm going to also fire on his weapons because it looks like there he has a heavy burst laser which will take out one shield and I only have one shield and it looks like he has a laser. Now, if he knocks out my shields and then fires his laser, the laser will go through multiple parts of my ship basically and could possibly start a fire which is can sometimes be quite bad so uh, I'm gonna aim for his weapon straight away and uh, let's see how that goes so uh, so yeah just waiting for my weapons to recharge they are recharging faster because I do have a guy there oh and he's knocked out one of my shields but I've oh oh Jesus Christ I've knocked out I've partially damaged his weapons just enough to knock out his heavy burst laser. I'm firing my laser again. I've knocked out his weapons completely. That's how much like hull he has left. That's how much hull we have. So we do have a big advantage. I've knocked out his weapons completely. So I'm going to aim for his shields. So now he has no shields and no weapons. 
So I'm going to aim for his life support system. Um, this is going quite well, actually. And, oh, I've completely knocked out his life support systems. Now I'm going to aim for his... Uh, Oh, he's brought his shields back online, so I'm going to aim for them. But he's only got one hull left, so I should kill him here. And yes, I did. I killed him. So it's all very good. Um, there we go. So I managed to collect two fuel, two missiles, and 18 scrap from the ship. I'll contact the civilian ship. They usually give us some stuff. Oh, no, they didn't give us any stuff, but they patched up uh, the damage, hull damage that we took from that. Now, we only took one hull damage, so not really much. But it's better, better than nothing, anyway. So, let's see what I can upgrade with my ship from a 28 scrap. Um, hmm. What I'm going to do, I am going to buy one more power bar. And give it to this here, basically. So I can keep both weapons up and running, but still have the extra power on my engines. Which is very good, because your evade chance is very, very good. Uh, if, if you get it up... I once had it when it was about 55% chance of evade. I w it was it was amazing. So it's always very good to have an evade a high evade chance. See now you see this here. This is basically what you're running from. Uh, you hold vital information. The story is you hold vital information um, on how to defeat uh, these people here, but you're there trying to catch up to you basically and stop you. So this is them here, and if you're basically going to there, you're going to die. Um, well, it's a very high chance you're going to die anyway, so you don't want to get caught up in there. But I'm no, I'm here, I'm no immediate danger, so I'm going to still head for my quest. I'm going to go here, see what happens. Um, I've had this one before, and I know that if I explore the asteroid field, I am going to get damaged, so I'm just going to... Uh, it's too dangerous, we'll just wait for the FTL to charge, which is, stands for faster than light drive, uh, FTL drive there, so, there we go, uh, so it's fully charged, ready to jump, and I'm in range of my quest, so I'm going to head straight to that, let's hope it's not an ambush, and yes, it's an ambush, uh, this is a Federation ship, uh, I'll explain it to you, he has a defensive drone here, looks like uh, it's only a Mark 1, uh, so it will only stop my missiles, not my lasers. Uh, he also has a missile, which will get through my shields. But it looks like he only has a burst laser, Mark 1, by the look of it. Mark, not Mark 2. So that that's not too bad. Um, I'm more worried about this, really. So he's only got one shield. So I'm going to aim for his weapon straight away. And then... That that basically controls the drone. If I knock out that, I can then fire my missile here and here, and uh, which does quite a lot of damage to the ship. But now this this type of ship is controlled by the enemy who I'm trying to get away from. So if I don't kill this guy quick enough, he will um, charge up his FTL drive and jump away from me. And the the enemies will start catching up to me faster. So I want to try and kill this guy as fast as possible. So I'm going to unpause it. Now, I've, I'm going to stick it on auto fire again. Straight on his weapons. Because I don't want... Oh, um, let's see what this does. And it's caused one damage into there. Not hit anything major. Um, so I'm okay. I've damaged his weapon slightly, but I've only knocked out the burst laser. Now, luckily, I managed to evade that one then. There we go. So I've knocked out his weapons. Let's... Uh, oh, no, I've only damaged them. Somehow he's managed to fix them. Because, uh, obviously, he has people and everything. So I'm going to continue fire on that. There we go. So I've, when they go red, they're fully damaged. When they go orange, they're only partially damaged. So uh, he's fixed it again. So I'm going to continue fire on that. Oh, what's this? Um, oh, they're offering to uh, surrender. Uh, they will give me four fuel, one drone part, seven scrap. Honestly, that's a really bad offer, I think. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to say we will not accept your surrender. Because, uh, to be honest, I think we can win this. 
Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the weapons, and I'm going to, even if, yeah, I'm just still going to leave it, going to aim straight for his drone, because I have a plan. There we go. Knocked out his drone. That can go on that, and that can go straight on his uh, shields. But I've missed, so uh, that really sucks. Uh, but I killed him anyway, so it's all good. And there we go. I got a better offer. I did get four fuel. He did offer me four fuel, but I got two. But to be honest, we're doing all right for fuel for the moment. Uh, two missiles and 11 scrap, which is always good. Uh, let's see if I can upgrade anything on my ship. Um, no, because I think next I'm going to upgrade my doors or my sensors. I need 20, 25, but I've only got 19 scrap. So just going to wait, going to jump to the exit. And uh, let's hope that there's no one waiting for us here. Um, oh, what's this? Uh, uh, no, because to be honest, I want to keep my fuel and I don't have any drones that I can use. So I'm just going to reject their offer. I'm going to jump into the next sector. This is how many sectors there are. Green ones are good. Red ones are bad. Uh, purple ones, the in between good and bad. Um, I'll I'll show you one of them, uh, possibly, maybe I don't know yet. But basically, I have to get here. I'm here, so I think the route I'm going to take is I'm going to go that way. I think because that looks like it's going to be the safest way. So I'm going to go there. So I'm going to go close next sector. Uh, pirate controlled sector. No, I don't want to go there. Zoltan, 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 something like that controlled sector uh, because it's green the civilian so they're not going to cause a lot of harm to me so i'm going to go there and uh, that is the end of part one uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment uh, and i will try and answer it as best as i can if you haven't played this game before i highly highly recommend it um you know like i said i got addicted to it played it Managed to play 16 hours of it in the course of two days. So it is a very good game. Very addictive. Um, so yeah, tune in next week. And we'll do part two. Hopefully I won't die. Uh, but who knows? Anything could happen in this game. So, uh, tune in next week. And, um, you know, carry on breathing.